This is part 25 of Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss AOT, that is ahead of time compilation, and JIT, just in time compilation. In Angular, we have got two models of compilation JIT, which stands for just in time compilation, and AOT, ahead of time compilation. As the name implies, JIT compilation compiles the application just in time in the browser at runtime, whereas the ahead of time compilation compiles the application at build time itself. With a development build, by default, we get JIT compilation, and this is how it works. The application code, along with the Angular compiler, is downloaded by the browser. At runtime, when a request is issued to the application, the JIT compiler in the browser compiles the application code before it is executed. This means our user who made that first request has to wait for the application to compile first. In our previous videos in this series, we already discussed when we do a build, we get these standard JavaScript bundles, inline bundle, main, polyfill, styles and vendor. This vendor bundle right here contains the compiler along with the Angular framework. The compiler is roughly half of the Angular framework. Let's actually see what we've got in this vendor bundle. There is a tool called Source Map Explorer that we can use to inspect these JavaScript bundles. As the name implies, the Source Map Explorer tool analyzes the source maps that are generated along with these JavaScript bundles to draw a map of all the dependencies. For us to be able to use the Source Map Explorer tool, we have to install it first. To install Source Map Explorer, we execute this command npm install source-map-explorer-save-dev. I've already executed this command, so I'm not going to execute this again. Once you have the tool installed, do a development build if you have not done so already. I've already done a development build on my machine, so if we look at the dist folder within the routing demo project folder, notice we've got all our JavaScript bundles along with their respective source map files. And look at this vendor bundle. It's roughly around 2.2 MB. And half of this size is the Angular compiler. We know with the development build, by default, we get JIT compilation. And for the JIT compilation to work, the browser needs to download the compiler. And that compiler is present in this vendor bundle. So let's use the source map explorer tool to inspect what this vendor bundle is made up of. And the source map explorer tool is installed in the node modules folder. Within that, we have got .bin. And within that, we have our source map explorer. We want to run the source map explorer tool against this vendor bundle. This vendor bundle is present in the dist folder. Within that, we have our vendor bundle. So now when we press the enter key, it's going to analyze the source map files and draw a map of all the dependencies. There we go. We have the contents of our vendor bundle displayed in a graphical form in the browser. The total bundle size is 2.25 MB. Of that 2.25 MB, the compiler is 1.02 MB, just over 45%. And we have the other Angular framework files like the Angular core, router, etc. With AOT compilation, the Angular application is pre-compiled. So this means the browser loads executable code so it can render the application immediately without waiting to compile the application first. This also means with the AOT, as the application is already pre-compiled, there is also no need for the browser to download the Angular compiler. As we already know, the compiler code is roughly half of the Angular framework, so omitting it dramatically reduces the application size. By default, the production build is ahead of time compiled, so there is no need to bundle up the Angular compiler code in the vendor bundle. This brings down the vendor bundle size by almost 50%. In addition, it is also minified, uglified and tree shaked to remove any code that we are not referencing in our application. So the bundle size is further reduced. Now let's do a production build and then inspect the vendor bundle generated by that production build. So let's flip over to the command prompt and execute this ng build command with dash dash prod option. We know by default, 
the production build is not going to generate source map files but for the source map explorer tool to work we need the source maps so let's turn on source maps by setting dash sm option to true there we go our production build is complete now let's run the source map explorer against this vendor bundle Notice now the vendor bundle is just 313 kilobytes and within the bundle we don't have the compiler anymore because with production build by default we get ahead of time compilation and with ahead of time compilation as our application is already pre-compiled we don't need the browser to download the compiler anymore. Another benefit of AOT compiler is that it detects and reports template binding errors at build time itself instead of at runtime. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. In our home component class, I'm going to include a function. I'm going to call this function get text. And as you can see, this is a very straightforward function. All it does is return the string hello prajeem. Let's bind to this function in the view template. We have our home component view template right here. So I'm going to include a div element and bind it to this function get text. Notice I have deliberately misspelled the function name. So let's save all of our changes and then execute the ng serve command. There we go. Our build is complete. We know this ng serve command does an in memory build and the server is listening at port number 4200. Let's navigate to localhost colon 4200 and we see the message home works. We know this is coming from our home component view template. So if we look at the home component view template, whatever message we have here, we see that in the browser. But this div element is not displaying the string that is returned by this get text function. And if we launch our browser developer tools by pressing F12, within the console, notice we have that template binding error. Remember, we deliberately misspelled the get text function. So it's complaining that get text is not a function. Now we only know about this template binding error at runtime when we launched the browser and navigated to slash home. But at build time, if you look at the console here, notice we don't have any information about that error. With this ng-serve command, by default, we get JIT compilation and not the ahead of time compilation. And we just proved with JIT compilation, we'll only come to know about the template binding errors at runtime and not at compile time. Now let's see how things are going to change when we use ahead of time compilation. Stop the server first and let's execute the ng serve command again but this time with AOT option set to true. There we go. Build failed to compile. As you can see with ahead of time compilation we will get to know the template binding errors at build time itself instead of at runtime. Now let's quickly recap what we have discussed so far. For JIT compilation, the browser needs to download the Angular compiler, whereas with AOT compilation, it does not have to. While the application is being JIT compiled in the browser, users have to wait, whereas with AOT, the application is pre-compiled, so there is no such wait. With JIT compilation, the template binding errors are only known at runtime, whereas with AOT compilation, we'll come to know about them at build time itself. By default, both the commands ngbuild and ngserve uses JIT compilation. With either of these commands, we can use AOT option to turn on ahead of time compilation. With a production build, by default, we get ahead of time compilation. For some reason, if you want to turn off AOT for your production build, simply set AOT option to false. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.